I'm Brian Wynn. And I'm Stephen Jenny. And for our final projects, we created a sound controlled Mario bot. So for our project, using the webcam that was given to us, we attached the audio output from the webcam into the audio input in the MyRio. And from that input, we used a timed loop in order to sample that signal. And we also uh, multiplied that signal by a certain gain so that we could get a clear visual of the signal. So using the output from this, again, we were able to get a frequency and an amplitude. Um, and we figured out we could use four states to pretty much do everything we wanted in terms of driving. Um, so we could have the robots uh, going forward or stopped, and then we could have it turning right, rotating right without moving, um, or rotating left. And then if you include a control, that if you go into one of those states uh, to know where I'm going back to, was I previously driving or was I previously stopped, um, you could pretty easily navigate around the room as long as the thresholds for what it was hearing were uh, in the in, kind of in the right range. So now here's an example of our robot working. Based on the amplitude of the signal, if it's a very high amplitude, aka a clap or a stomp, then the robot should start driving forward. Now also, if we input a frequency, aka me singing, um, as long as I'm within the right range, it will turn. So for instance, doo, doo, controls whether it goes right or left. Yep, so a high frequency is going to make it turn right, and then a low frequency is going to make it turn left. So let's drive around for a minute, see how this thing works. Doo, doo, doo. Out of the way, see you drive home. All right, so here's an example of the front panel. Um, down below, we have a graph that's showing the FFT of the audio signal. And you can see that as Steven sings, then you get peaks here on the audio signal. Boo. Boo.